Russian military planes continue to land in Iran one after the other. Iranian analyst Hayal Mwatsi wrote about this. Events are developing very interestingly. I mentioned in my analysis that if the war starts, Russia will be with Iran, he said. It should be noted that Iran is expected to attack Israel in order to avenge Ismail Haniyeh, the head of Hamas, who was killed in Tehran. The US president has vowed to help Israel counter Iran's looming attack but warned the Israeli prime minister not to count on US support if he escalates further and keeps Washington in the dark, as he did with the killing of a Hamas leader in Tehran. According to an Axios report citing two US officials, President Joe Biden had a tough call with Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, where he vented his frustration from the fallout from Israel's escalatory action, as his administration tries to broker a hostage and ceasefire deal between Israel and Hamas. Iranian officials convened in Tehran with representatives from Iran-backed groups to discuss plans for what is said to be a joint mission against Israel, which they blame for the killing of Haniya and Hezbollah commander Fuad Shakr. Iran and its allies are preparing coordinated actions intended to deter Israel while avoiding full-scale war, according to AFP. Russia intends to deploy offensive missiles within striking distance of Western Europe if the United States fulfills its promise to deploy a similar capability in Germany in 2026, Russian President Vladimir Putin said during celebrations to mark Russian Navy Day defense news reports. He said Russia would take mirror measures to deploy the weapons which can carry nuclear warheads, taking into account the actions of the United States, its satellites in Europe and other regions of the world. Putin added that American plans to deploy medium-range missiles in Germany pose a threat to Russia. The flight time to targets on our territory for such missiles, which in the future could be equipped with nuclear warheads, will be about 10 minutes, the dictator emphasized. Defense News recalled that on July the 10th, the White House said the US plans to begin episodic deployment of conventional missiles in Germany in 2026. The statement said that these long-range conventional fires will include the SM-6, Tomahawk and hypersonic weapons under development that have significantly greater range than current land-based fires in Europe. Nikolai Sokov, a senior fellow at the Vienna Center for Disarmament and Non-Proliferation Studies, who studies Russian missiles and arms control, said it was unclear exactly what missiles Moscow would try to use or deploy. He added that the land-based caliber was an obvious choice, stressing that it would be easy to develop and test before 2026. In addition, increasing the range of the Iskander or reviving the suspended Rubez project could be on the agenda. The publication emphasizes that Iskander missiles are already deployed in Kaliningrad and Belarus, while longer-range systems could be located deep inside Russian territory, which would increase the early warning time on both sides. There is also a cruise missile, the 9M729, which the US believes was fielded in the 2010s. Michael Ditzman, a research fellow at the James Martin Center for Non-Proliferation Studies in California, said in an email to Defense News. According to him, Putin in his Sunday speech mentioned coastal troops, which could include coastal artillery. The Russian military has used two of these systems, Baal and Bastion, to strike land targets in Ukraine. With the Onyx-M missiles, the Bastion unit based in Kaliningrad could hypothetically strike all of Poland in addition to its anti-ship mission, the expert believes. Earlier, the German publication NTV, citing a statement from the federal government, wrote that Russian threats against Washington and Berlin regarding the deployment of long-range weapons will not lead to a change in plans. We will not allow ourselves to be frightened by such statements, stressed a representative of the German Federal Foreign Office. According to him, Russia has been arming itself for years and waging a war of conquest in Europe against Ukraine, so Germany must respond to this.